Hello friends, welcome to Travel and Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how to install VLC Media Player in your DigiPad. Now before I begin the video, I really want to thank all of those people who subscribe to my channel and like my videos. I am very very grateful to you and thank you so much. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, well, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe and get many more interesting updates which are going to come in the future. So I have installed VLC Media Player in the DigiPad. As you can see, it is placed right next to the Winamp and the Night Clock. So it's a really good uh, media player. And uh, if you are someone who likes VLC Media Player, who likes to use it in your uh, system or your laptop, and you want it in your DigiPad, well, here, right here it is. So you can click on the VLC Media Player. Now it's going to show you the file storage as internal memory. Uh, in case you have placed your uh, video or audio files in your micro SD card or your pen drive, it, you, are, you need to go to the internal memory and access the files through that in order to play the video or the audio files. Now when you click on the menu here, it is going to show you the option of video or audio. But when you click on it actually, it is not going to show any files because it is not able to scan the external memory card. It only shows the internal memory card. So you need not worry, you just need to click on the directories button, go to internal memory and access the files wherever you have stored them just like that. So that is a uh, one uh, drawback of this video player, but still you can use it very well. It going, it's uh, going to look very nice on the DigiPad screen. So I'll just move ahead with uh, showing you how to install VLC media player. Let's get started. <laughs> As I have told you in my previous videos, the most first and foremost basic thing in order to app, in order to install apps in the DigiPad is that your DigiPad needs to be connected to the internet and you need to connect it via Wi-Fi on your home or office network. So you need to buy a dongle, either your dealership dongle or from Amazon or from any other online source and you need to connect your DigiPad to the internet. So if you don't know how to do that, do watch my previous videos regarding Google Maps and Spotify and you'll get to know how exactly to do that. Now, as you can see, the Wi-Fi logo is showing there. So once your DigiPad is connected to the internet, click on the default browser in the DigiPad and click on the URL bar. And now type in the address, which I'm going to tell you, and that is going to be bit.ly slash number three, small letter I, and then followed by all capitals, V I Y P W. So if you can see the URL address here, it is bit.ly slash number three, small letter I, then followed by all caps V I Y P W. So once you have typed in that, you can press on the go button and wait for the web page to load. So you can see the web page loading. It is VLC for Android 3.0.5 ARM v7. So that is the old version of Android, which and uh, since our DigiPad is having that old version, this VLC media player is going to install on that. So once you open that page, so make sure you scroll down a little, little bit, and here you can see an orange color button, which is says as here. So click on this orange colored link button, which says here, and then. Click on the browser if you have installed ES File Manager. If not, the download will happen automatically. So just scroll down the menu and as you can see, the VLC Media Player has started to download. So let's just wait for a while until it downloads. So the download has completed, so just click on the download complete dialog box there and now you will get an option to install the VLC media player. Click on the install button down below and let's wait for the installation to complete. Now it is showing as application has installed. So just click on the open button. So this is the first home page you are going to be greeted with when you install VLC media player. So it is going to show as video, audio directories, local network, open MRL history and preferences. So these are the settings 
uh, section where you can alter the settings of your VLC media player. So there are some certain changes which you can do which I am not going to do in detail here for because this is just an installation video. So I will just show you the basic features here. So make sure you have clicked on auto rescan. I don't think it's going to be of use but still click on it. Then go to media library folders and click on the internal memory. So once you have done that, now uh, even if you have video or audio files uh, in your digipad it is not going to show it in the home page here in the video page or in the audio page. As you can see it is not showing anything. But where you need to go in order to find those files is go to directories and go to internal memory. So here as you can see it's written external card. So this is where your micro SD card comes in in case you have put it in here. And in case you have put it in your pen drive it is going to show as USB storage. So click on the external SD card and here you can see the files which I have placed in the micro SD card here displayed in the directory folder. So I am going to play an audio. Now I cannot play any audio such like that because it is going to create a copyright issue with the YouTube. So I will just play a simple sound which I hope doesn't create an issue. Now this is a reverse sound. I hope you heard that sound. Uh, so this is just to make sure that uh, VLC media player does play audio. So it, it's got certain more options down there. So this is how the interface looks basically. It's a classic VLC media player look. So that is what and let's just head on to the video files. I have some video files here. So let me just try playing one video file. So this is one of the videos I shot with my drone called Heavenly Hassan. In case you haven't watched this video, it is so fantastic. I think you need to visit my channel and watch this video. So as you can see, VLC Media Player is playing the video files very nicely. So that's it, that was just a sample to show you how the VLC media player plays both video and the audio files. So the next thing which you need to do is go to the app section. Now just scroll back just a second, slide the apps down. Go to app section, scroll down and make sure that the VLC media player is installed here. Press and hold the app and bring it to your home screen. Now your home screen has a very good look because it has a VLC media player, Winamp, Night Clock, along with MX Player, Spotify and Maps. So if you need any of these apps to be installed in your uh, digipad, check out my channel. There are videos on each and every one of them. So you can install all of these apps in your digipad and make your digipad the one of the best in-car entertainment systems. Now none of the other cars have this. None of the other systems have all these apps installed all together in their car systems. So this is one of the first and foremost thing you are going to see in the digipad in the internet and this is specially brought to you by travel and tech. So if you think this is a very worthy video, if you think this video may bring a change in your life in your digipad, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also like the video and do make sure that you write in the comments how you feel about the VLC media player once you have installed it. So thank you for subscribing to my channel those who have subscribed already and if you haven't already subscribed and are watching this video, make sure that you subscribe before going away from this page and also to like the video. I hope you like this. I hope you enjoy watching videos and uh, hearing to sounds in the VLC media player. Then have a good day.